Ryan Ham here, and I was at the range testing out my suppressor and some ammunition that I had just laying around, and I noticed something odd. Uh, normally, you have ammunition that's either supersonic or subsonic, and you, with the suppressor, you could hear the supersonic crack. Um, it's a sonic boom. It makes a, a, a noise. It sounds like a gunshot, especially when you're shooting a suppressor, and and there there is no uh, muzzle blast or noise. Uh, and uh, I noticed that about half of the rounds that I was firing. Uh, with the Remington Golden Bullet uh, bulk pack ammunition. About half the rounds were going supersonic and about half of them weren't. Uh, I had my chronograph out that day doing another video so I thought uh, I'm gonna find out exactly what supersonic is and uh, uh, if you don't know supersonic is when the the bullet is going faster than the speed of sound and the air can't get out of the way. Yeah, so without further further ado, let me go into the video, and uh, you could you can hear uh, in the little segment that I've got coming up, uh, you could hear the crack of the bullet uh, in the report of the the rifle going off is of course muffled because I've got a suppressor on there. Yeah, so let's go to that video. So five rounds out of the Ruger 1022 takedown with the Spectre 2 suppressor, and this is the Remington Bulk Pack Golden Bullet. It seemed like some of those are subsonic, so uh, we'll check. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot uh, the Remington Golden Bullet through the Ruger 1022 takedown with the spec. <clears throat> and you'll see this area, you'll hear supersonic and subsonic mixed in there. <laughs> Real interesting that it's, uh, it's kind of right on the cusp there with the 16 inch barrel and the suppressor. So we'll see what we get uh, 20 rounds, 10 round magazines. About half and half. Can you hear it? So it's an interesting experiment in uh, what supersonic is. Uh, again, it's about uh, 61, maybe a little bit warmer here, and uh, we're in North Carolina, about 250 feet above uh, sea level, 70% humidity or so. Enjoy. So as you can see, uh, the crack uh, is is really obvious about half of the time, uh, a little more or less than, than half of the time. Uh, so supersonic is supposed to be around 1,100 feet per second, so that's 1,100 feet per second. Uh, and I'll go ahead and, and I'll put the, um, uh, the um, up in one of these corners, I'll, I'll put the speed in meters, uh, meters per second. Uh, but uh, since half of them were going uh, supersonic, I figured uh, if I shot enough times that I could uh, I could figure out exactly what supersonic speed is. Now, uh, supersonic uh, is a term to describe faster than sound. Well, sound travels different depending on altitude, uh, depending on humidity, depending on um, air pressure, um, temperature. Uh, there's a lot of things that can cause a, cause a bullet to go supersonic. So. What, uh, what I did was I, I, I found out what the temperature was according to the weather people. It was around 70 degrees. Uh, I thought I was at 250 feet, but the, the range is actually at 300 feet above uh, sea level. I don't know what the atmospheric pressure was that day, so sorry. Uh, but what I found was interesting, so we'll go ahead and uh, hit the chronograph. And um, if you don't want to uh, sit around watching all the shots, what I'll do is I'll, have a, 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 I'll, I'll let you jump to the final results uh, if you want and uh, those are going to be up in this corner here. Uh, the jump will be there, uh, but if you can, please click like before you jump because uh, I'm, I'm cutting about uh, half the video out by doing that. And then uh, once, uh, once we're done uh, doing the shooting, I'll, I'll do a summation and uh, we'll be done. Okay, since I got some of the Remington Golden Bullets to, uh, I think, go subsonic in, the, uh, in this gun, I'm going to shoot the Remington Golden Bullet. I've got 10 rounds. We'll see how... Uh, how many of them are subs and how many of how many how many of them are supersonic? Eleven seventy two. Eleven twenty three. Eleven fifty seven. Ten seventy eight. That was subsonic, and you could tell. Twelve oh seven. Ten ninety nine. 
uh, again, subsonic. 1150. 1080, subsonic. 1092, subsonic. 1129, super. And that was it. I am gonna shoot some more because this is fascinating. So we know between 1129 and 1099, uh, somewhere in that range, it's going supersonic. Let's see if we can find out exactly where. So we're here in uh, North Carolina. It is 61 degrees, and the altitude we are at is roughly 250 feet above sea level. Trying to find out what supersonic is. I've already had a round go uh, 1099, uh, 1099 feet per second, and it was subsonic, and one that went 1,129 feet uh, per second and it was supersonic. So we've got a 30 feet per second range. Let's see if we can't narrow that down. We've got Remington Golden Bullets and I've got some magazines loaded up and we're shooting them out of a Ruger 1022, uh, the takedown version 16 inch barrel, Spectre 2 suppressor and uh, it seems to be uh, the skirt in both sides of the supersonic range there, the transonic range. Uh, so let's see if we could pin it down find out exactly what supersonic is today. This is fun. Eleven seventy one super. Ten fifty eight sub. Twenty six and that sounded supersonic, so uh, we've narrowed it down a little. Super twelve oh eight. Eleven seventy two. 1081 sub 1081 or it didn't read 1121 that sounded super 1127 super didn't read and empty okay we'll try some more 1051 sub, didn't read, 1113 subsonic, 1095 sub, 1149 super, 1190, 1148, that didn't read. 1062 subsonic 1114 that sounded subsonic and that one's empty try and get a little more over the sky screen 1114 subsonic, 1105 subsonic, 1105 that didn't read, 1119 super, didn't read, didn't read, 1061, it sounded super for some reason. 1132 super, 1121 super, 1187, and empty. Eleven sixty four super, eleven fifty four super, eleven thirty one super. 1074 sub, 1157 super, 1142, started again, um, just had a nose dive uh, that was magazine related I believe. 1090 sub, 1124 super, and that was the last in the magazine. So as you can see we pinned it down. Um, <coughs> Looks like everything below 
1120 or 1120 feet per second is subsonic. Everything above is supersonic. But uh, I'll have to review the video. Very interesting. So we're back here. Uh, the importance of knowing what supersonic is uh, for the purposes of having a suppressed weapon uh, is that if you have uh, bullets that go faster than the speed of sound out of your particular uh, firearm and you have a suppressor, all you're really doing is suppressing the noise from the gun going off and you're not doing a whole lot to suppress uh, <laughs> the supersonic crack of the bullet, which is about as loud as a, uh, like a, a long barrel 22 rifle, like a 24 inch um, uh, old style 22 long rifle. Um, so in order to suppress that, what you need to do is you need to get out of a rifle standard velocity ammunition, which should be uh, under 1100 feet per second. Uh, not always, but it's important. Uh, you can, you don't really need a chronograph, uh, just shoot enough of these uh, bullets and if you hear the supersonic crack, then guess what? It's supersonic. <laughs> if you don't, then uh, you've got the right ammo, ammo. Most of the time, out of a pistol that's less than about four and a half inches, a 22 long rifle ammo will be uh, subsonic. Most of the time, not always. Uh, but it's still better to use a, a standard velocity ammunition and uh, w with the 22. Uh, in that way, it's, uh, it's going to be even quieter. Um, there is uh, something called transonic where the flow around the bullet will be supersonic even though the bullet itself isn't supersonic and to explain in order to get out of the way the air has to move supersonic uh, around the, the curve of the bullet uh, so that does create a more noise than a truly subsonic bullet in order to get truly subsonic you're looking at you know, it's certainly around a thousand feet per second uh, down to even 800 feet per second just to be uh, just to be safe uh, with some bullet types. Uh, 45 automatic, uh, I do have a 45 caliber suppressor. 45 automatic, most 230 gra grain loads out of a pistol are going to be subsonic. Uh, with a 9mm, most 147 grain non plus P loads are going to be uh, subsonic. Uh, and they also have 158 grain loads. And some 124 grain loads with a 9mm will be subsonic as well. Uh, most of the plus P's are going to be uh, supersonic. But again, in order to test it, if you've got a good suppressor, shoot a few rounds, 10 or 15 rounds. If you can't hear the supersonic crack, then either your suppressor is too loud and it's, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, basically drowning out the supersonic crack, or it's likely that your, your loads are, are uh, comfortably uh, subsonic, at least in the conditions you're shooting in. Uh, so I thought this was really interesting. Uh, you don't need a chronograph in order to figure out what supersonic is. <clears throat> All you need is the right load uh, and the right weapon and a suppressor. So right on hand, if you enjoyed these videos, um, please like. Um, I do enjoy the likes. Uh, I asked you to like uh, on a jump I did earlier in the video. I'm going to start doing that. I realize I could be a little long-winded. Um, blah, blah, blah. People don't like listening to it, uh, so they're not necessarily going to like me. But I have a feeling that most people subscribe. If you've seen one of my videos, generally you've seen them all. I just like to sit here and chat. If you enjoy listening to me chat, uh, <coughs> subscribe. Um, if you don't, uh, then <clears throat> you can uh, just click like, and I'm going to try and include jumps uh, through the boring parts uh, of, of my videos to, to give you a uh, uh, to, <laughs> to give you the condensed version. I thought about putting up uh, shorter videos, uh, but I like to talk, and I think there's a lot of good information in here, and I think one out of ten of you might actually enjoy it. Uh, for the other nine, uh, please click like, and then click through on the jumps, and uh, hopefully we'll move forward with that. I've got a lot of interesting things. I've got a, uh, some shotgun videos coming up. I've got some suppressor videos coming up, uh, a little more gun cleaning. So right on ham. Goodbye.